Hi, Mark here. I trust you all well. In today's Lightroom Classic, I'm going to hopefully pass on some years of wisdom in how to help you speed up the way Lightroom Classic works. So without any further ado, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. Here I am, I'm in Classic version 14.01, it's February 2024. I've been using Classic now since 2008 and been helping other photographers for over a decade now in speeding up their workflow. With Lightroom Classic and Lightroom sprinkled with a little bit of Photoshop. So first tip, your catalogue which stores all the data, does not store your images, that you use within Classic should be on a solid state drive. A nice fast solid state drive. I use a Samsung T9, that's 2000 megabits per second at read write speed. I actually have that on an external drive plugged in by USB Thunderbolt 4. So rather than a mechanical drive, which is the spinning magnetic type and HHD, put it on an SSD. Secondly, what you look at, so here I'm in the library module, grid view, press spacebar, takes me to loop view. This is a preview and there are different sizes in previews. Now I would suggest that you have the biggest preview that your computer can handle. Regarding RAM, you should be using at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Lightroom Classic will run on eight, but at least 16, if not 32 or 64 gigabytes of RAM. But we create standard previews. How do we create standard previews? Well, we do that on import, but how do we select the size? Well, if we come up to Lightroom Classic, Catalog Settings, and under Previews, we can actually set our size. So I would select the highest size that you can easily deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're running on a 4K monitor, you're looking at 5,000 pixels. If you're looking on a laptop, you want about 2,400 pixels. So it depends on your device. But generate those previews on import. It will take a little bit longer. The other thing that I suggest that we do is use smart previews, which again, you can do that on import. So if I hit the import button, up into file handling, we have this little tip box, top one, right hand corner, smart previews. What are smart previews? Well, it's something that Lightroom Classics generates at import. We can generate them later if we wish, and we can delete them later. But it's a small raw file. And we should be using those if we use a laptop because when we unplug our external storage device, we can still edit on our images and we can even print up to around about 10 by eight print those images. So your computer is not going off to an external hard drive to bring back the image. Now, what do I mean about that? So in every module, when I press space bar here, this is a preview. If I go to it in the print module, the web module, any other module apart from the develop module, it's a preview. So it's looking at that preview file that Classic has already generated. So as I scroll through the library module, they're rendering or being presented immediately. In the develop module, let's go back to this image. In the develop module, you're actually looking at the raw file. So if I press D, that will now present me the raw file. But if I generate smart previews, the smart preview is kept by the side of your catalog. Therefore, it's on a faster drive usually than an external drive and it renders quicker. So by generating smart previews either on import and I'll show you how we do it on once they're already in the catalog. So just for argument's sake, I'm going to select all. I would not recommend you 
selecting all and doing your whole catalogue, do them by uh, subfolders. Go up to library, come down to previews and build smart previews or build one-to-one -one previews. One-to-one -one previews is 100% size of the file itself. So just build your smart previews. So rather than going off to the raw file, it's going off to your smart preview, which is next to the catalog. So it's at the same speed, the data transfers the same speed as your catalog. Then the final step to the running faster is going up to your preferences and under performance, come down to the develop setting, use smart previews instead of original file. Now, there's two caveats here. It will be faster to render, apply the image, apply this develop settings, but you'll only be getting the preview size, not the full size of the image. So when you are looking at the image, it may not be at the full 55 megabytes, uh, 55 megapixels sensor size that you're using. So it might be a slightly um, lower quality of representation. So if that's important to you, then don't tick that box. Okay. But if you're doing landscapes and you're seeing most of them at the whole image, then tick the box. And what it will do is the develop settings, it will present the smart preview, which is a lower res preview. Okay. But when it exports, it'll export the file using the original file. So rather than going off to use the original file when you're developing, and that's a 50 megabyte file, for example, it's using the smart preview, which may only be a three, a five, a 10 megabyte file, depending on the, the size that it's, it's generates. <clears throat> so there's some little tips there. I hope it's been of help for you today. If it has, why not visit me, lightroommark.com, sign up for my newsletter. I host weekly live events helping other photographers understand classic and look at your workflow. Please like, subscribe, and if you've got a question, just leave it in the comments. Bye for now.